Hey there! Here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. Today's topics include the arrest of 34 individuals in 13 countries charged with using online services that provide denial-of-service attacks to order, Apple's security patch for its macOS and iOS, the release of Facebook's certificate transparency monitoring tool, and Google's improvements to its machine learning technology through its embedded projector technology. International law enforcement agencies in more than a dozen countries arrested 34 individuals in a cybercrime sweep that focused on customers of online services that provide denial-of-service attacks to order. In the U.S., the FBI arrested a 26-year-old University of Southern California graduate student allegedly linked to a distributed denial-of-service attack that knocked a San Francisco chat service company offline. The suspect, Sean Sharma, was charged on December 9th with purchasing a DDoS tool used to mount the attack, the FBI stated in a release. Since last week, the FBI's International Cybercrime Coordination Cell, or IC4, and other law enforcement agencies, including Europol and the UK's National Crime Agency, have arrested 34 suspects and conducted interviews with 101 individuals. Apple is updating both its desktop Mac OS Sierra and mobile iOS operating systems for multiple security vulnerabilities. The iOS 10.2 update was officially released on December 12th, while the Mac OS 10.12.2 update followed a day later on December 13th. Among the items fixed in iOS 10.2 is a vulnerability that was first publicly disclosed in a YouTube video on November 16th that can enable a potential attacker to access a user's photos and contacts from the iPhone's lock screen. The vulnerability is identified as CVE-2016-7664 and was reported by Miguel Alvarado of iDevice Health. On December 13th, Facebook announced the launch of its freely available certificate transparency monitoring tool, providing users with a simple way to search for recently issued certificates and to be alerted when a new certificate is issued for a specific domain. SSL slash TLS is the encryption standard used across the internet to secure websites. A best practice for SSL slash TLS is for the security certificates to be issued by a known certificate authority to help guarantee authenticity and integrity. Defective certificates can be accidentally or maliciously issued, which is a risk that the certificate transparency effort aims to help mitigate. Google initiated the Certificate Transparency Initiative, which involves certificate authorities publishing newly issued certificates to a certificate transparency log. Facebook's tool enables users to search CT logs for certificates, as well as provides a mechanism to subscribe to alerts on domains. Google has open-sourced its Embedding Projector, a web application that gives developers a way to visualize data that's being used to train their machine learning systems. Embedding Projector is part of TensorFlow, the machine learning technology behind some popular Google services like Image Search, Smart Reply in Inbox, and Google Translate. In a technical paper, Google researchers describe the Embedding Projector as an interactive visualization tool that developers can use to interpret machine learning models that rely on what are known as embeddings. With the widespread adoption of ML systems, it is increasingly important for research scientists to be able to explore how the data is being interpreted by the models, Google engineer Daniel Smilkov said in Google's open source blog. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.